live from Daytona Beach. At least I think we are. <clears throat> Good evening, July 12th. Uh, yep, there's my notification from Melon. And I am going to get uh, Ron in here. Let's see. All right. Let's see if I can't do that real quick. Do, 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 do. So how's everybody been doing? Well, I hope. And we'll just call this link. And paste it in. Do a few enters. Send that email off. <clears throat> Time for a little Pellegrino, I believe. Now, is this showing correctly or is it backwards? Hmm. It looks backwards. Let me see. Flip horizontal. Oh, no, that's wrong. Because my door is not over there. Okay, we're set. Hello, Mario. How are you doing, sir? Or, ma'am? Mario Major, how are you? I just had a coffee. Probably shouldn't be drinking this. But, better to not have a dry throat, I guess. Hmm. Let me send Ron it. Ron. Oh, okay. We'll get this right in a short bit. Let me see. Oh, there's Ron. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do this. Ron? Hey. Can you hear me? Okay. Can barely hear you. Check my volume. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? Hey. Oh, wait. Could be my speakers. How about now? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was my speakers were low. How's it How's going? It's going all right. There's a, There's a really bad echo. There's a, well. I'm hearing could... me through your speakers. Oh, you're hearing you? Yep. Do you have YouTube open? Nope. It's a little better. Wait a minute. You're hearing me? No, I'm hearing myself. Oh, you got your own echo going. Hmm. I don't know. I think we've had that problem before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And eventually it gets worked out, right? So I, I, I'm going to try to finish this cap. Uh, I'll do the other tones. I will do the fill in the black areas. I'm not sure if I'll do highlights and shading and stuff. I'm not sure how involved I'm going to get in with it. And what do you think about me being in this? Uh, left-hand corner instead of the right. I think either one works, right? Yeah, it works. Because it, it doesn't hide the art. So, uh, let's see. I need to find a 
next shade of blue, which will be a little darker. I will eventually get fairly dark, but for now, that's pretty, that's pretty blue there. That's as blue as the tape. Don't think I want to go that far yet. Ron, you're waiting on me. We are waiting. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think this blue is it's going to be the one. Uh, Mario, I've been holding up well in the pandemic. Um, haven't had any of the virus that I know of. Uh, no one in my immediate family has had it. So, I guess that's, uh, that's a good thing. But those numbers seem to be going back up, Ron. They are going up. 25% of one of the hospitals I go to is just COVID. So what do you make of it, sir? You're kind of on the pulse, right? You, you, it's, it's you might. Providing too much work for me. <laughs> well, you're probably right there. Um, and the, the vaccine numbers are, are shrinking all the time, right? People are not getting vaxxed. They're not. I think there was the flurry of people that wanted to, and now the the people that aren't going to get vaxxed regardless are, are left, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And I, I actually saw that, uh, you know, California, that Torpedo Comics is now, and I guess it's due to outbreaks in California that... Masks are mandatory now? Yeah, that's what uh, Mario says, and Billy's here. Ray Dog says, what's up, John? Hey, what's up, Bill? Good to always uh, see you in the room. I need to get uh, I need to get Billy on here. If he's got a, a streaming setup. Bill, are you... Are you... Uh, You got equipment to stream? Could use another drawer on here. Drawer. <laughs> so I did watch uh, Black Widow. Very good. Yeah. That's what you were saying. And did you figure out, is is it a 24-hour rental, or you don't know? No, I own it. Really? Yep. How did it, now, wait a minute. You own it where, though? As long as you have Disney Plus? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Or until it becomes live for all standard Disney Plus, then it's probably just part of the library. But right now, uh, you can you can go back and rewatch it as many times as you'd like. Yep, you'll have to watch it soon. <laughs> How am I gonna do that? I don't know. Take a trip up. say you'd log into my account we know well, that would never happen yeah but you know sometimes they block that mm, maybe yeah what if I, i'm traveling uh, i only block it if i'm running it here 
and Holly Hill simultaneously. That's probably true. I think my sister Anne took her daughter to see it at the theater. And they said they liked it. Of course, <laughs> you know, we're talking the kidney lady, so I don't know what her taste in movies is. So what color did you initially put down? Was that a Copic? No, these are all the uh, Prisma colors. Billy says he's not set up yet to stream, unfortunately. He doesn't know what equipment that he'd need. Well, a webcam with a mic. Although, the webcam mics are usually very muffled sounding. Um, you could get a webcam without a mic and then get a, a headset that has a, a little microphone on it that's closer to your mouth. How, how does my sound? Am I... Am I okay, Ron? Yeah, you sound fine. Okay, because I lowered the gain of my, and I, I, you can see the microphone's no longer in my, um, uh, um, in my shot, because I pushed it back some, because I listened to one of my uh, previous streams, and I thought I was just way too, uh, loud in it it was it was picking up my voice way too much i don't know if that's still the case or or if it's more of a a better better quality sound and that it's it's not too um too vocal too distorted, maybe. And I think that was a problem I was having when I had my office, was that I had the gain set too high. And, like, the further away you are, it'll still pick up sound. So if you're, you know, if you're sitting back here, you're still going to get sound, but some of that sound may not be what you want. I actually did see the... Um, a couple of weeks ago, I had to get some copy paper at Office Depot. And just out of curiosity, I went over to see if they had the Logitech C920s or 922 webcams, which they did. And I believe the 920 was 69 dollars, and the C22 was either 79 or 89. Which is actually back down to only ten dollars more than what I paid for uh, my uh, two C nine twenties when I bought them before all the COVID stuff. For the markups. Yes, exactly. So I think there is a slight, maybe a slight decrease in the price. Now the interesting thing is. I was looking on. I was looking at them on Amazon, and people were complaining that it was not the Logitech camera that they were getting some China ripoff uh, camera sent to them. I don't know if that's true or not, but because it, you would think it would come boxed. Uh, well, that's the unfortunate thing with Amazon. They allow outside sellers on there. And they also allow, if you're reselling for Logitech or something, you can list it as the Logitech store or whatever. Whatever store you're, you know, uh, you're doing that for, you can you can use their, their branded name. You don't have to do, like, uh, say, John's Aftermarket, you know, <laughs> 
Sean's aftermarket hardware or software, or, you know, streaming John's aftermarket stuff. I, I've, you know, there's been a few things that I did. I did notice this when I was looking at a a Zulu uh, water bottle to buy, and they showed one model, and then somebody was complaining that the model they got kind of had like a. It wasn't like the the spout type thing that most travel things have you know mm -hmm. it was more of like a um kind of like this you know it, it was like in the middle of the thing and you would cap it but i went to the actual zulu homepage, and that's you know apparently that's the new model they have is that particular uh one and so what i think happened is they're they just didn't update the Amazon, you know, whoever's doing it. They didn't open. They did not update it with new pictures. But people were kind of paranoid, thinking they were not getting the one that was pictured. Yeah. And maybe they did prefer that style too. Well, Mario's got a good point. He says, make sure you only buy from Amazon directly, sold and shipped by Amazon. Yeah. Um, that's usually what I do is make sure that, I mean, there's some things you just can't get, you know, you, you have to take that chance. Bella's done that with a lot of stuff. Um, and she's waited a long, I think there was one package that never showed up. Now, luckily it was something inexpensive, but maybe it did get here. I can't remember, but um, she waited a long time. And uh, I told her, I said, you know, you can cancel that order if you haven't got it. But was it the shower chair? What? Was it the shower chair off Amazon? The one for my mom? Yeah. No, we, we got that. Uh, I think we got that here locally. Well, okay. I think that was part of... Um, when she when she originally got that walker with the brakes on it, I think she got that and that shower chair and stuff. And it was whatever Medicare uh, covered, which was quite a bit. It was, you know, I mean, it was maybe thirty dollars for the item she got. It was kind of dirt cheap because the Medicare pays for the rest. And she never used that one walker uh, with the brakes, the maroon one. Yep. And, but I really didn't want her to at the time because her on wheels would, and this was, you know, this was before she was now. Now I really wouldn't want her on it. But, uh, yeah, so. I am getting some, um. I need to get an eraser. That didn't click down. Still didn't click down. So you want to get together a uh, band drawing and do a paint along? Do what? <laughs> no. Huh? No. No, I, I'd rather just watch. I think I'd rather watch and uh, see what's going on there. Let's see. What was I going to do? I lost, oh, yeah. Um, I think... I think I got a little dust floating around here on this piece because it's been sitting on this drawing board so long. 
unfinished. You know, I don't think I have enough red in my marker because I, I used the red ones quite a bit on those sketch covers. So actually, I was looking at this. I'm not sure I'm going to put a uh, any kind of background or anything on it. I The more I looked at it, the more I kind of liked the white. The only thing I could possibly think of is, and I don't know, this kind of gets back to, is it too cheesy? Um, doing like a, a, like a red outline around the whole thing. But then that kind of, I don't know. That seems dated now. I like the white. Yeah, no, I, I got no problem with the white. Um, if I had red marker, I might do a couple of reds and try to do like a blend. I mean, I do have two reds, but I don't think they'll last for the area I need to cover. So... Let's see. Let that blue set in just a little bit. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to um, get a little light blue going in his eyes. Genome's here and he says, ah, the dual cam is back. Sweet. <laughs> What's up, Genome? First, I'll start with a little bit of cool gray. I think this is cool gray. Yep. Cool gray, 20%. Now, I need that kind of that. This looks too purple, but I'm going to give it a try. What's the color on here? Cloud blue. This could have been the... Uh... No, that's too purple. Why are they calling that cloud blue? You know, those pictures that I posted on Facebook, not Facebook, um, Twitter that Jacob took? Oh, yeah, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, those were really nice, uh, what he did. And the interesting thing is he showed me a little hack to make them more interesting. <laughs> Believe it or not, he learned it off of TikTok, and that was... He tipped the he tipped the camera like on one he turned it all the way upside down so it looks like you're looking at down at the clouds and the blue sky but really you're above the clouds and the the sky was underneath these kids today what can I tell you learning fast cool as in cool kids or cool as in frigid. Uh, <laughs> cool isn't cool. Well, hello, Genome. I'll say that again. I can't remember if I said hi. And hello, Jeff. How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Um, da, 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 da. I need a light, light. That's a warm gray. Or. French gray. I think it was this one to kind of kill some of that white in the eyes. You know about that, right, Ron? Right. So what you working on tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday, correct? Correct. It's a good question. I might be finishing this. <laughs> Actually, my, my goal is to like get, you know, get all the color done. If I'm going to go in with any white paint or anything, maybe do that tomorrow. I don't know that I'm going to go in with any white paint, though. Um, 
I don't really feel the need for it, so. But that could change by the time I'm... I mean, I'm going to leave this big white highlight because I really like it. I like the, you know, intensity of it. Now, that could change when I put the blacks in. I might go, whoa, I need at least, you know, this color of blue. You know, like, well, <clears throat> that color. Yeah, I might need something. I might even need less. I might need like a 10% cool gray just to, you know, just so it's not so hot. But right now I'm, I'm really liking that white spot. And this was just, you know, I needed to extend this. So that double line is not going to get a color. This is a darker blue. I don't know if this is the darkest blue I'm going to go with, though. We'll see. See what it looks like when it dries down. So why did you choose to put the inks on afterwards instead of first? Um, I always do when I do markers, just so that, because I have some very small smudges here on the corner of the mouth where the marker will pick the ink up. So whenever I do these, I always uh, do the blacks last so that they don't, um, you know, I, I've never tried it without it. So I just figured I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to have a whole area pick up on me and smear now you're using the prisma color now right yep now are you liking that more than the copics uh i like the price more than the copics here's here's the thing i could have swore because i do have you know they do make different um pins and i'll show you real quick all right. See how this one has the the blue square? Well, just I'll call it a square, it's like a cylinder. You know, it's and then these. This is my my gray markers. If you look at well, of course I got a a dark one out that you can't see. Well, before it becomes too irrelevant, Jeff Potts said. Cool comes in degrees. What does that make, Fonzie? Because he's doing fine, by the way. Uh, what does that make, Fonzie? Uh, I, I have no idea. See, and then this one, when I bought these, these have the brush tip, just like a Copic. When I ordered this set, um, these are the Prismacolor Premier. These are Premier. I must have just checked the wrong box. But that's okay because um, I actually kind of like, and you can't really tell so much here, the chisel. It's almost like uh, when Jordan Rhodes is, is using that square brush. Um, you know, he gets that... that kind of natural look or whatever mm -hmm. and that's kind of you know what i what i feel with these is i i tend to get you know i tend to angle stuff so are you are you going to pick one of those veins that you did to paint and yeah. finish it Yeah, I think I'm going to do the, the first one that probably came across with it, with the four of them. Is it the one that's kind of similar to the pose that, that they're all doing? Yeah. And for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, I'll let Ron explain that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, that shift over to you? Yeah, no, we've been watching uh, David Finch. Uh, do some paintings. 
and he's having the man that made a nice little course about acrylic painting and using black colored pencil kind of as a base right Ron? Mm -hmm. to establish his his values and then work over top of it so it's a really interesting technique and he's he's really a master at it i gotta say he's He's done some impressive work with that technique. I wonder how he stumbled across it. Well, probably quite a few people have been doing it besides him. I know, but I, I wonder, you know, somebody had to teach him. So I wonder Who if that was the first. Huh? Who was the first? No, I mean, like, you know. He had to learn it from somebody. So I don't know if that was something he was taught in Argentina, like in an art school or something, or if it's something he, you know, picked up through a comic book artist that explained it to him. Like, uh, I think Finch, I think David Finch was talking about Simon Bisley you know, kind of use that technique or it looked like he had used that technique. You know, art school didn't teach that. Yeah, well, maybe in Argentina. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I, I didn't go to art school, so I don't know what they teach. I know they don't teach uh, <laughs> business, or maybe they do now. And I didn't learn business. I learned I'm having fun doing what I always wanted to do, but I wish I would have learned a little something something. Wish I would have learned that you do get old fast, faster than what you think. So when I was out doing some errands today, I I had Howard Stern on, and it was really interesting because various times he was interviewing musical artists. John Mellencamp was on, uh, Ringo Starr was on. Um, who else did he have on? I can't remember. But it, it's interesting to listen to them talk about, I know, he had Robert Plant on, that was interesting. Because they, they, you know, they, they tend to talk about what they were doing is no big deal sometimes, you know, like they were just doing it. They didn't, you know, I, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, and, and, and it's true. I mean, if you knew stuff was going to have a long shelf life, like, you know, let's say Secret Wars. I didn't think that was still going to be putting any money in my pocket. You know, when I did when I did it, it was a job. It was just the next job that that I was to do. That was it. I knew it would be okay for a time, but I didn't know that. What almost forty years later now, or thirty seven, or something like that, that it would still, you know, and. It, fact of the matter is had it not been for venom i i don't know if it would have it may have because that's still one of those books it was you know according according to everything i know it was like the first major crossover of a comic book company's heroes and villains 
I think some people want to argue that, but mainly DC saying that they they were actually working on Crisis and Marvel just beat them to the punch, but uh, I'm not buying into that. I think they saw the success of Secret Wars and got busy on their own. Oh, who knows? Those two steal from each other all the time. Yeah, but I mean, this was something that, you know, DC would, back in the day, DC had plenty of chances to, like, become number one, right? Let's say in publishing. And they would, they would start to gain ground on Marvel, and they would just hesitate because they didn't know what direction to go. So they'd have to wait for Marvel to make a move. Then they would see, oh, that's working. Okay, we maybe we need to, you know, maybe we need to do that now. Well, AG's here. He said he's just looking at the Secret Wars book you signed for him. He's wanting to get it pressed. All right, AG. Is he going to get it graded then? Well, that'd probably be the point of it. But can he get it graded? Because I don't know if that book, I don't think they had a witness at that show. I could send him a, uh, a CGC form. I know CBCS will do something. Signature verification. Yeah. That's why you're on the show, Ron. You know this stuff. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, AG, says these colors look really nice on this piece. Well, thank you, AG. We'll see if Jacob comes in. We should bring him in via via satellite. <laughs> satellite. Actually, I think he's busy playing uh, his game with some friends that he's kind of made over the summer online. I'm going to do with the um, scales. I don't know if I'm going to marker them in, if I'm going to maybe leave them out or just put them in in black. I think a lot of that will have to be with if I go a shade darker on this blue. One, one final shade darker. Well, AG said he's not really sure if he's going to get it graded. Uh, he's not really into that thing, but he'd like to have the protection of one. He'd like to have a few books protected. Just slab it. You can, can, well, I guess you can't really slab stuff yourself, can you? Or can you? Nothing with uh, slabs like those.
This is disturbing me. Let's see. Okay, this is. I need to get these three colors blended in a little nicer, a little smoother. Too hard. Too harsh, Ron. Ron, you're too harsh. When is your next con? Uh, let's see. That would be August 8th and 9th, I think, in northwest Arkansas. I think it's the 8th and 9th. It's a Saturday, Sunday ABC show. IKG said that uh, uh, all his books are tens. There you go. Well, Genome said I'm really low with my volume. Is this any better? You sound good to me now. I Like I said, it was my fault because I had my volume down. You just don't have one of those professional mics like Genome and I have. Nope. I have this headset. So he's used to the big booming sound. Well, I don't have mine too loud because I'm hearing my voice come through your speakers and microphone picking it up. Wait, there, there's got to be a way we can solve that. We did it before. There was one little thing you had, and I, I know that was on StreamYard, but there's got to be a way to, to correct that. Wouldn't you assume? I would assume. What it is, I don't know. Wow, that that blue is looking dark now. <laughs> I think if I go any darker. Let me see this. Uh, and I, I have the paper over here. You all can see the little color test. Wow. <laughs> That's almost black there. You know, on the original... It, it does show up better. It's like I said, I, I, I kind of need that. See, Ron? It, it is dark, but... It's probably about as dark as I want to go, I'm thinking. And I think I would add the... Um, I think I would add the scales with uh, ink, you know, with my uh, brush marker. Because I, I think that blue, I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. And, I mean, it would be nice if I could work it in a touch. But I think even then, you know, if I did the scales with it, but. I would almost have to use the blunt end of it and there's some tight areas where I don't think it would look right. And if it doesn't look right, then I'm kind of committed to using that dark blue all over. But well, AG wants to know, did you get a set of those markers or were you buying singles? Oh no, I, I got that a set of, oh, what is it? 72, I think. Yeah. And it, it, it was not that much uh, for the Prisma colors, but like I said, I wanted the brush ones, and I don't know if it was their mistake or mine, 
by you know they they'll put like the 72 and the 72 right next to each other and i may have just hit the wrong one and didn't pay attention and i remember that order i was telling you with the paper i placed today wrong yep so i forgot I was going to also order a T-square and some triangles because I don't have a T-square anymore and I'd like to have one for this drawing table um, and some triangles too so I can, you know. Uh, so luckily I had just placed that order and I could call back and have it added on. But let me tell you, even the Dick Blick brand of the... Um, Captain Cobalt Blue. Uh, even the um, the Dick Blick brand of T-square and triangles, they ain't cheap. They are not cheap at all. I did get a 30-inch... Uh, square because I think this little drawing table here is like 36 so I, I'm, I'm not going to deal with anything longer than that or you know straight across I'd rather have a little bit of leeway and then I got the 18 inch uh, triangles because I do like those to be taller I was going to get 12 and they had <clears throat> okay, I gotta go mute for a minute. I'll just take myself away from the stream real quick, too. Hello? What's up? You're not muted. I'm not? Nope. <laughs> Wait a minute. I must be on. Hold on, I'll mute myself now. Now I'm muted. Okay. No, you're not. I'm not? <laughs> no. Now I'm muted. You think so? Am I? Nope. <laughs> wow, this is weird. Very weird. Okay, go ahead, Bella. Just so you know, we can hear you. It could be closed. Okay, well, I may not be able to eat it for a while, but I appreciate it. No, it sounds good. While you're at the buffet? Oh, you mean when you're out? I thought you got the buffet. Well. Mm, how much did you get? Okay, but is it enough for you or is it enough for both of us? Okay, well, then that's fine. Okay, thank you. All right, Babu. So, I'm not muted right now. Nope. That is bizarre. Okay. Yeah, now you're muted. You can tell the difference. Okay. Wow. That's pretty bizarre. Um, 
That is way bizarre. I had to actually mute the thing. Um, hmm. I had my speakers off. And I had the mic off and the Logi Capture thing. Interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> well, luckily, I was just Bella saying, uh, dinner plans. Yeah, um, yeah, I do, well, that's what I'm thinking, Genome, but I, I have it so that my mic. There's no way my my camera mic sounds that good. Hmm. <laughs> Default microphone. Let me see. Okay, now I'm going to Yeti stereo microphone. Okay. Did anybody notice a difference? Nope. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me do a quick test on this. Okay, so, oh, wait. You you all can still hear me. Yep. And I, I have the, the, the button is flashing. Okay, now the Yeti is on. Okay. Can you hear me now? That is bizarre. Why am I paying for a microphone? Hmm. <laughs> it makes no sense. Makes no sense, Ron. Okay, now I'm going to try this. How about now? Can still hear you. Wow. Very it was often default back to those when streaming software is launched. Yeah, I don't like that. Let me see. Uh -huh. Audio input, communications, microphone. Yes. Let me see. Okay. That's a lot quieter. Huh? That's that's very quieter. Hard to hear you. Really? Okay, let me up my game. All right, keep going. Hold on, I didn't. Oh. How about now? That sounds better. Is it louder? Yeah, it's louder. Okay. The echo's gone. For you? Yeah, I can't hear me coming through your speakers being picked up by your mic anymore. Okay. How about now? You sound even better. Because I just echo. cranked the volume up to 200%. Okay, now I'm going to try... I'm going to just hit my Yeti mute button, which I thought should mute me. Nope, you're muted. I can see your lips move, but that's it. Yep, thumbs up. Genome for the win. So it defaults back. So I have to go to and pick my microphone out again. Stereo audio. Let's see. Enable this if you're using stereo audio input. I don't think I am. Auto adjust mic volume. I could turn that on. How's that sound, Ron? Uh, it still sounds good. <laughs> sounds the same, though. Okay, well, I'm just thankful my echo is gone. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? When I opened that thing up and changed it, there's an echo cancellation. And it, it, I guess it defaulted to on. Now, let me see. My gain is here. Okay, how do I sound now? 
sound good. Loud or just okay? Not loud. You sound good. Okay, now I've turned it down some. That actually sounded louder. This sounds louder? Yeah. How about this? Same. Okay, so... That's quieter. This is quieter. Right right here is quieter. That's that's good right there. That don't make any sense. How about now? You sound you sound fine. <laughs> Come on now. Just don't don't pacify me. No no no. You you sound good. You you sound Okay. Nice. So it's it's that that that'll work, right? Right now I wouldn't touch a thing. <laughs> Unless you want to go back to where we were. No, that that was like bizarre, you know. I'm here I am thinking I'll just turn my Yeti off and you're like, "Yeah, we can hear you." Well, Genome says he does have his moments. Um he, he does. Checks, he checks every time he starts to stream, usually backstage before going live. It doesn't happen every time, but often enough for him to check. Well, see, I'm on Melon. He's on StreamYard. Seems like they have similar problems in some areas, right? Well, kind of sounds like it. I mean, because that's a problem he had on StreamYard. I think I'll just get the Streamlabs Prime or whatever and get all the widgets and stuff and go to Twitch. And then do recorded video for YouTube. What do you think of that, Ron? Yeah, sounds good. Good plan. See, that was your segue moment. <laughs> that was you to say, like, oh, what do you have planned? <laughs> yep, missed that. It's still open. Hey, what do you have planned? Well, funny you should ask. How many people are in the room? It shows five. Okay, well. I, I, it's going to take a while to figure out the schedule, but I will probably go back to some type of morning stream. Now, when my son goes back to school, it can be earlier because he does sleep in the room with me here in my, I don't have my f almost 400 feet of studio space anymore, which was wonderful. So I got to wait for him to wake up, which is usually fairly late these days. But when he goes back to school and when I don't have conventions, I could be streaming by 830 at the latest. I like that. Maybe even a little earlier. Maybe eight. And what I want to do is go back to do, uh, like I, some of you guys remember the daily drawing on a six by eight where I would just do whatever felt good or suited my fancy that day. Um, I don't think I would have a dibs thing right now because I, I have some stuff in the works that I don't even know if I can talk about it, so I won't. Nothing for the comics company, though, just, just so everybody's clear on that. But um, Anyway, thought about doing that, and I also thought about doing a 
very basic and then this is you know very basic inking free inking course where we go over beginning tools what they're good for what they're not good for i would break it down into what i used to use what i use now due to sometimes not being able to find the older stuff or it not being as good as what it used to be. So, for instance, I you see me use markers now. Now, I still like a good brush and ink. That's never going to be far from my side. It is on certain things, like what I'm working on now. And that was just... Right now, it's a matter of I don't have everything set up to where I feel comfortable bringing out real ink. Mm -hmm. um, but I need to change that. And a lot of it has to do with desk space because, like I said, I'm, I'm probably in about a three-and-a-half by 14-foot area. Right, Ron? <laughs> that sounds yeah. about right. That's about it. So it's very cramped. And I I have my drawing board and a pretty huge desktop and monitor. I've got web cameras, microphones, all this stuff around me. So I gotta be very careful, extra careful, not to um not to let anything uh fall off and Run the work, so to speak. But I, I, I need to really kind of start nailing that down. And the inking stuff will be, it will be basic. The beginning will be basic. And then we'll, we'll see how that goes. And if there, if I think there's a need for it, I would entertain doing a, a little more advanced class. Now, this, you know, I want to be clear. This would not just be, even though it kind of would be. Ron, did, did I just like... Uh, it would not be, just kind of would be. Yeah. Uh, you know, I... It wouldn't just be like, hey, if you want to be a comic book inker, you know, this is what you need to do. It would be more of a, um, you know, people like to ink pencil drawings. I mean, just, you know, uh, let's take a look at somebody like, um, I'm going to give this for an example. Frank Cho, comic book artist, illustrator. He'll use Franklin Booth's uh style in his comic book illustrations and there's no reason why that can't be done um kelly jones occasionally does franklin booth and um uh i'm trying to think of the guy's name now it just escaped me um man he he's the guy that uses all the little circles and virgil finley that's it so I would like to eventually, if there's a interest, go back in and um, kind of study those guys and show you how to incorporate styles that are outside of comics into your, you know, into your comic work. And you know, it's it's tough to do at certain points because it may not fit but if you do an illustration with that whole style like if i was to do this in a franklin boo style i wouldn't be doing some of the stuff i'm doing now um it would be totally the mindset of okay i'm gonna ink this in this particular style so it would be a lot different you know the inking would be a lot different on it so now, 
um, on this piece, since we're talking about it, <clears throat> or since I was, I think it's ready to go to um, to Blacks. So what I'm going to do is take a quick break, run to my restroom next door. Uh, what's Genome saying? I can still be heard, but it looked ridiculous me talking. <laughs> yeah, it happens. What I would not like to do, and I would, I would definitely check this first. If 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 I was going to, like, do a voiceover narration, I would definitely make sure. Hey. Hello, Dr. Kaz. This is live, sir. As live as it gets. And I was just fixing to uh, go take a quick short break, but I will be back in about, um, I don't know, three minutes. I just had coffee before I came in, and now I'm having a Pellegrino, sir. Uh, it'd be a good time to see if your mic actually mutes. Hmm. You're right. So what I'm going to do is mute the mic. I'm going to say something. If you don't hear me, I'm going to disappear from the picture. And then I'll be right back. Yeah, you're muted. Yep. Can't hear you. But Ron, does that mute you also? 
I don't know. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. Does it mute Ron? Okay, so. Wife is home. Now you can hear me fine, right? Yeah, I can hear you great. Genome says he still can't hear me. Uh, I don't know why he can't. Kaz, are you still here? Can you hear me? If anybody can hear Ron. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Can you hear Ronald? Oh, there it is. Well, if I could see it. Okay. Yeah, Kaz says, yeah. Uh, Dr. Kaz, is Ron clear? Is he muted? Is he... Whispery. Whispery. So is he is he you sound great to me you sound you know clear bold bold i sound bold you sound bold he didn't hear me during the break okay so that probably muted everything and Jeff Potts says, I am whispery. Hmm. Interesting. I would like to, uh, to note that, um, well, thank you, Kaz. <laughs> I missed it. What did he say? He said, I sound awesome to him. There you go. So I was going to say down below in the description box, I have an email list that I'm starting. So if you want to know about anything upcoming, it's, it's going to be your best way to find out when I'll be at a show, when I'm going to start my Twitch stream, when I'm going to miss my Twitch stream. So if you haven't noticed it or haven't done it yet, you can do it after the stream. You can do it now. Just... Go down there and sign up because like I said, I'm, I'm going to toy around with a basic beginning inking class. And I, I, where do I go, Ron? Do I, do I kind of mention my experience with, I will. I mean, just general, you know? Yeah. Okay. So I actually, went ahead and purchased a inking course. <clears throat> and for me, and this is the problem I'm having with is, I knew all this stuff, but I just wanted to see how it was put together. And I found myself getting about, I struggled through the first two thirds I maybe two thirds. I still haven't finished the last third and I don't think I will. Um, but my problem is, like I said, I'm kind of familiar with everything that was being taught. So I, I don't know if that is the problem with the actual teaching. Or I don't know if it was just boring. Now, having said that, I understand, you know, we all know about nibs and pins and brushes and stuff now. So I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm kind of thinking, and I, I, I've discussed this with Ron. I'm like, I was going to launch a class uh, a while back. And then I got this and... I went to Ron and I said, Ron, 
this is my problem right here. I said this this was actually kind of a blessing in disguise for me because I don't want to do this. You know, I don't I don't want to do I don't want to bore people. But I also don't want to charge them for stuff that's so basic that you can get it free uh, pretty much anywhere on YouTube. Yep. But, it, you know, it would just be like mine. It would be, this is, you know, through my lens, no pun intended, since I am wearing my readers or even my... I don't know what they make them of. I don't know if it's plastic in my eye, the artificial lens they put in for my cataracts. But so that's where I'm at. I'm kind of stuck in the middle of there are those people out there at a, at a very basic beginning. You know, they need to. They need their hand held, basically, and there's nothing wrong with that. We all do at some point. But it's nice to kind of talk over uh, the different tools that are out there. Uh, you know, my personal likes and dislikes on some of them. Yours, yours might be different. This brush that I'm using right now is the Pentel Pocket Brush, and I really don't like it for <clears throat> inking figure work and stuff because it's very, what I call, loose. Um, and even though I like loose artwork and I get to do it occasionally, I have to have a purpose to, to do it. Um... And by that, I mean it's either, you know, a style I want to work in or I'm doing just a rough sketch and it doesn't need to be what people have become to known as my signature style, which can sometimes be a curse of nice, clean, sharp lines. Because sometimes I do like to get dirty and gritty dry brushy and you know i don't i wouldn't call it sloppy but i would just say illustrative and loose well jeffrey potts was mentioning doing something like this with gary shipman like what probably what we're talking uh, about the course doing a course yeah And Kaz has signed up for the newsletter. All right, Kaz. That's good. And he gave you a earworm if you want it. Nothing compares to you. <laughs> that song will be stuck in my head now. Won't it? He knows what he's doing. Well, thank you for the sign up, Kaz. And... Uh, I was telling Ron, another thing I need to clear up is my overdue commissions, which I think I think it's only seven or eight total in total. And that includes uh, two for you, Dr. Kaz, plus the pieces that I have in an envelope here to get to you. So I want to definitely um, get those done. So what I do like about this pen is I'm not having to dip it in ink to fill in my blacks. However, when you got to change the cartridge, that, <laughs> that, might, uh, that might take all the time you saved uh, away waiting for the new one to drip down into the bristles. If you let it go too long, if you can kind of judge when it's starting to get dry, it, it seems like it, you know, it still has some of that moisture to draw it down faster. Mm -hmm. AG signed up for your newsletter as well. All right. 
that's going to be a good thing because uh, I, I had on there monthly, but it may be more than monthly, so I switched it. Um, I probably will give it to the end of this month before I send anything out. Although, what, today's the 17th. If I do start anything on Twitch, I would probably plan it out the night before. And you all would get an email with enough time to hopefully read it. Now, what I also plan on doing with the Twitch streams is they only keep them for... 14 days on their servers, then they're gone. Um, so I would probably download them and upload them to YouTube. I'm trying to figure out a way, if there is a way, and if I really want to just capture the art part and not the face cam with the interaction... Let's see, what was that? Premiere in 30 minutes. I have no idea what this is. Did you hear that come in? Ron? Ron? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. I know there's some stuff out there that allows you to do different feeds, uh, different little streaming gizmos and gadgets and plug-in deals and stuff. Right now, I think my main concern is getting a a fill light for my bedroom studio um, because here's the problem. I have an overhead light, but it has a fan attached to it. The fan is not running right now, but if it is, you get a flicker, which is very uh, distracting to say the least. Are you, you seeing those blacks come in, Ron? Yeah. It's looking nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. I was going to have Zablo come in on this call, too. So I gave him a buzz earlier. And he's out on the... Well, he's not really out on the ocean. But he is on... He's down in... Uh, or over, whichever way you are. Down across over in Bradington with his family. Cool. I told him he was out on a fishing boat with his uh, father-in-law. <laughs> he said no, but he's got the uh, like the whole rest of the family. His two kids, uh, the one is married, the one is not, and they're they're having a good time, according to him. And he's almost done with his shingles. Oh, I heard a yawn. Was that a yawn, Ron? I didn't hear anything. Was that the ghost of Zablo? <laughs> I mentioned his name and it, it sneaks into the stream. Zablo haunting. That's right. I think that's what it was. Oh, you know what? You gotta get under his lip here. See, these Pentel pocket brushes, like, I'm not unlike some natural brushes, too. Now, you can't see it here, but <clears throat> they sometimes get this one, and Ron, you probably know about this, and anybody else who's inked, they get that one long hair brush, a uh, hair that sticks out. Or they split. Yeah, but it's usually, it's usually a split. Well, a split can happen right away, too, when you get a brand new brush and it splits. 
that's no fun. That is no fun at all. That's that's I'm bringing it back because I had it for like two days, and it's split. It's a defective brush. I used to bring those back to the art supply store um, when I would get them with my receipt. Used to be really good about that. Um, I I ordered like I would say five brushes from Dick Blake one time. Raphael eighty four oh fours number twos, and three of the four brushes came in a bag without the caps on them. Oh, <laughs> you talk about mad! I called them up and told them, and they were afraid. Uh, I mean, I could use them to fill in blacks or something, but not for any like real inking. I thought you were going parking lot, John, on them. I kind of did, but the, the the lady was nice. She goes, "Oh, I am so sorry." That was the only time I actually had to. I I even told her. I said, "Do you want me to send you a photo?" Now I could have picked up three of my old ones and just taken a picture, but I didn't need to. Of course, I could have got three new brushes. But yeah, they they replaced them right away and said, oh, you know, you just keep those, throw them away, do whatever you want to with them. You were and... like, I'll meet you inside. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that is kind of threatening, right? I'll see you inside. See you inside. I don't know. I guess I could have. I guess I did see him in the parking lot. So don't Kat do says he saw Captain America three twenty four cover auction. Nice. Yeah. And then what about the uh, the splash page and the second page to Cap three twenty three, first appearance of Super Patriot. I thought that might go a little bit higher. How about that Punisher page? Oh, that was that made me ill. But I I got to say whoever mentioned it in the comments or whatever, those pages don't show up that often. And that did at least have the Punisher. Was it in every panel? Well, it was, but it had that one top panel where it was just yeah, he was and tiny. shells are flying and he had a little tiny figure, right? No, no, no. It was a big figure with uh, he was shooting and shells were flying and it was going uh, ta 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 ta. You know. Oh, that's right. There. Yeah. Um, Ag says Blick does have great customer service. Yes, they do. I had to call them yesterday because I got some, is it Molotow uh, acrylic markers, and I ordered three, and they sent me one. And I was looking in the box thinking, okay, they they fell out of this long plastic bag, but they weren't in there. So I got on the phone, called up while I still had the receipt in my hand, and the lady said, oh. We will get those right out to you. She goes, you'll probably see something on your account that is like you ordered them, but then you returned them. And she said, we just have to do that. So she said, it'll be no charge. You know, with that rim lighting and the way it's designed, it just reminds me of uh, Michael Cho. Oh, yeah? Well, he would have probably had lost edges, maybe. Yeah. And I like doing that, too. You know, I, I occasionally like to do the whole lost edge thing. See, Genome likes to see me fill in blacks. I know he's hypnotized. It's a zen-like thing for him.
Ron, I'll be crushing the diet on Monday. I got one more day. That is good. Yeah. I slipped off this week because we went to St. Augustine. That happens. AG says he lives a half hour from the big shipping headquarters of Blick. <laughs> now, what is the deal with... Didn't we? I think we finally found out that you don't get the same price in the store that you get online unless you get a um, some sort of membership there or something at the store. But I mean, it's it, all you have to do is ask about it. It's a free membership, right? Yep. Yeah, that caught me off guard. Yeah, because you it's cheaper online. But. But wait a minute. They didn't tell you that when you bought that stuff, right? No. When did you... Was it you that found out about it or me? Uh, we both were talking about it. I don't I don't particularly remember. Because I know when we were out at Torpedo Comics, they brought us to a Dick Blick uh, to, pick, to get some supplies. And I was the guy that went and got them with the girl that took... You know, that drove me there. Mm-hmm. And they did. They had like an account. Uh, well, they had a number that she gave them. I think I may have asked, you know, what's the deal? I don't even. Do you have to pay five dollars a year or something to have it? I don't think so. I think they just have to have a phone number and a email on file. And then you get the. Uh, the online price, right? Yep. Makes no sense. I guess they just get the uh, the rubes that come in and don't know about it. Yeah, but at that point, I mean, I only went to one, so I just... I know. Online. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, but I wish, I wish there was one. Because if you can get it at the same price, I, I you know... Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And that's probably going to do it for me because I do hear that Bella is back. <clears throat> Looks nice. Yeah, I'm going to uh, toy around with the scales. I think I got to do some little feathering and feathering into feathering, you know, do the little knobby things mm -hmm. uh let's see um i still like this nice bright white up on that part of the head it kind of balances out this you know this space balances out this gonna Real go quick yeah uh, well, AG said the Dick Blick he used to go to close near him, so it's always online. And Kaz says he has a question. Okay. So he's looking at Captain America 324. What mm -hmm. is the chain link hatching shading called? 324. That he, on the on his chain mail? Because that's all it is, is chain mail on Cap. They do it now. Now a lot of people will draw every scale on cap. I don't particularly, I'm not particularly fond of that because number one, it's a terrible amount of work. But number two, I think that with highlights and shadows and stuff, you wouldn't see it all. If that if that helps. Hey Charles. I'm I'm just fixing the call it a night, but uh got the blue down on this cap and the blacks. And I'm gonna take it to some sort of a finish. I'll have to I need to get a little white out going in the eyes. Uh this this one in here, this one here, you can actually maybe see a little bit better. 
The other one closed up a little bit on me. It's a little tiny. Got to open those up a little bit. That's nah, not too good. This is where I'm having lighting problems. I think it's either blown out too much or it's too dark. Got to get that key light. But I don't know where I'd put it. If I bring it over top of here, it's going to cast a, a shadow from the lamp right above me. But if I put it over to the side coming in here, I just got to make sure I don't have anything like uh, this pad of paper because it's fairly thick. It would cast a, you know. I think you need a miner's helmet. It would look <laughs> very awesome on the second camera too. Yeah, I, I think that would be good. Yeah, a lot of people are streaming now. It's, it, you know, I started, what, Ron, 2018? Oh, well, technically way before that. I don't think so. Early 2018. Maybe late 2017, but only like one or two. And then 2018, I picked, yeah, well, AG would know. But, uh. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to let this dry, get something to eat, and then, boy, I'm telling you, if it wasn't so, I don't know what the right word is, you know, a, a, like a red outline around it, it just seems to... Uh, what's the word, Ron? Overdone, cliche. Cliche, uh, I think, is a good word. Amateur is another one. It would probably look okay. But if I had my druthers, I would just do kind of a, like a red vertical going up. But even that might just, you know, I, I'm, how about some red Kirby dots, maybe? But then the thing is, they kind of, you know, if you don't get them right, they look weird. I think the best thing to do is K-I-S-S. <laughs> Gino, he had to go outside tear off his daughter's inner door panel and reseat her lock window module. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come up, say goodbye. And let's see. Am I going to stream tomorrow? Ron, what are you doing? Working? Just the evening stream with uh, the bank. Oliver. Huh? No, just the Finch stream. I'm going to catch and panel. Oh, what time does that start? Eight. Eight. Okay. So you're you're at work. Uh, I'll text you in the morning. Hey, <laughs> fancy haircut, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's my, my undercut. Look at that. Whoop. I I think I need a little more blending here. A little more blending. Been been growing it out so I could so I could do this. I like to change things up. It's it's, it's the artist side of me. Uh, let's see what this cast says. Thank you. Thank you. Go to Brave Stadium. They're winning and have superb fireworks. You know, that's one thing that uh, the minor league team here, um, it may, have, it may have only been on Wednesday night games, but I think it was after Wednesday night games. They always had fireworks. A nice display, too. It wasn't just, you know, some horrible, cheap 
fireworks. They were actually decent. <laughs> Cat says Mohawk. Not quite. Not quite. Hey, got a little little more length here. Parted out here. Right, Ron, you're you're going next. Hey. Yeah, I like your storm cosplay. My oh, 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 that hurt. Speaking of storm, did I tell you your piece of art got damaged? No. <laughs> well, that's good because it didn't. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. AG says he has he has zero options for hair. <laughs> well, at least you don't have to worry about experimentation. But I enjoy it. I like to, you know, I'll get my hair buzzed short sometimes just to let it grow back out. Um, oh, Charles is right. Cable. You've got the cable. See? Josh Brolin, I, I should have played Cable. He already had Thanos. I, I should have been Cable. He's just being greedy. Because, you know, I'm 6'1", too. He's not 6'1". He's like, what, 5'11", 5'10"? I don't know. Well, let's find out. <clears throat> How tall is Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin is five feet ten inches tall. <laughs> I would tower over him. Of course, I'd have to bulk up, but I that's okay. I would just get uh Chris Hemsworth and 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 the trainer for Brad Pitt. I would get those guys and we would get me bulked up and you know, huge, right, Ron? Nope, bodysuit. I don't want a bodysuit. I want to, you know. I want the real deal. It could be seven feet. It could be. But I don't think so. Hair is overrated. <laughs> Oh, I'm reading between the lines there, Charles. All right, so um, maybe tomorrow we'll put something together. Uh, if Ron wants to come yawn and let me read the comments too. He just wants the backseat pass. Right, Ron? What? <laughs> See, you just did it. I will need boulder, boulder implants or shoulder implants. I'll just get those. Uh, what are they? Those shoulder pad things. It kind of looks like you're wearing <laughs> hockey pads anyway. That's true. You're right. Means I rock the bald look myself. Well, hey, there's nothing. Nothing wrong with that. See, I'm lucky because I will tell you. Let me see. I do not have a good shaped head. I don't know if you can see that. I I, I do not have a good shaped head if I was bald. It would be horrible. Just horrible. You know, there's some people that their heads look good bald. No, I don't have that. So, I, I'm I kind of need the hair. If I if I had a bald dome, first of all, it would be huge, you know. Right, Ron? Right. Not as big as yours. I have a big head. Yeah. I kind of have a big head, too. I think, you know, my cap size is what, like an 18, 18 and a half, 18 and three quarters or something? That's what I meant to get. I need a Harley Davidson, either a painter hat they used to sell those. I used to get them all the time. And I, the last time I went to get one, they didn't carry them anymore. I need to check Amazon. You know, the little thin painter cap? 
Mm -hmm. Cause I like to put those on like, you know, in the summer, turn them around backwards and you know, I need a, I need a Harley Davidson ball cap, I guess. I, I'm going to look on Amazon, see what they got. They might have a painter's hat, but I like the painter hat because they're just so lightweight and they don't have that plastic, uh, you know, uh, thing where you can adjust it now. But what's, what's the other cap? Not the ones, those are a snapback that have the plastic, right? Yeah, like a trucker cap. Right. What are the ones that just fit you? Fitted. Is that what they're called? Fitted? Yep. Maybe I'll look at those too. But now those don't have the, I like, I kind of like the, the front to be up. You know what I mean? It has the height. The fitted ones are more, uh, almost like a beret, I guess, if you turned it sideways. <laughs> A beret. I'm going to get a beret. <laughs> a beret. I have a beret. Do you have a beret? I do. You do not have a beret. From when I was in Boy Scouts. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you have a beret, please wear it the next time you come over <laughs> here. Which, which has been quite some time. It has. November? Over there and paint. Was it November? Yeah. No, I don't want to paint yet. It's, it's, no, no, it's, I don't know what color. And I, I want to redo the baseboards because I should have just, well, I'm kind of glad they put them back on, but they're ratty. You know, they, they're old, they're cracked. They need to be replaced. I should have thought about that because I actually, I think I had to pay to have them put the, the baseboards back on, right? You know, they take them off, they put them on, it's an extra charge. I don't know. Well, man, it is 10 o'clock, so I'm going to bust out. Is it out. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Holy moly. Flex fit ones are nice with the flexible bin. Raspberry beret. No, I, I flexible band. What is that, AG, real quick? Uh, is it not the, 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 the hard plastic band with the little pokey hole knobby things? Ron, do you got a bolt? Ron. <laughs> I think he did. Not uh, Ron. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't have the screen so that I could see that you were still in the room, so that was good. <laughs> I had it where my controls are for my cameras and stuff over and it was it was hiding uh part of the back of um Melon app. So all right, so I don't think AG's typing fast enough, or it just hasn't come in yet. Do you know anything about the Flex Fit? I don't. I want a hat. I, I want a couple of hats. I want a Harley Davidson. I'm I'm I used to always have one. Always. And I used to always have a Harley Davidson tag on the front of my vehicle. On the SUV, I'm not going to put it on, you know. And, and I didn't have one on my charger because I just didn't seem right. I would have rather had a Mopar. Oh, small, medium, large. Okay. Ah, uh, boy, that large may not fit my head. Would a large fit your head, Ron? No, extra large. That's what I'm thinking I would probably need. Yes, more comfortable than fitted. Wait a minute. I thought he said they were fitted. Flex fits. Flexible band. I don't know. I'll do some research tonight. I'll 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 look at Amazon. I'm going to let Ron go take his nap uh, or his sleep. Sleep. I didn't sleep today. I was up at 5 and just Kind of stayed up all day. So I'll sleep good tonight. All right, everybody. Well, if you signed up for the email list, I appreciate it. Um, going to get some action going on there. Like I said, I'll if I if I start anything sooner than 
uh, if I start something next week, if I get a plan tomorrow, Monday, I'll shoot you guys out an email. I do want to get on Twitch, but I, I need to kind of get a little more familiar with it, or maybe I'll just go in and, you know, play around with it and see what happens. Let the trolls come at, come at me. Right, Ron? Just right. let them, let them, let them have at Big Beatty and call me an old man on Twitch. And I'll just say, well, you know, you, you, you're welcome to leave. You know, you, you can, you can go. We'll get Jacob in there to defend you. Yeah. I'll say, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay. Let me see. Oh, okay. That's your um that's my work in progress. All right. I see what you've been doing. I I see. All right. So uh I'm I'm gonna do this one last time. It's kind of pretty much dried. It looks like it's a little bit glossy in here. But boy, you know, I'm glad I didn't go any darker on the blue. Even though I, I promise you guys, it is not as dark as it looks in here. It's, it's, it's not this, I, I don't have the light. Um, there, see, I, I could, I could blow it out completely and you'll see more of kind of the true colors. Although this isn't as turquoise looking, this rim lighting and here it completely gets washed out, but that's just the way the light's hitting it. See, because you can tell, look, look at the color shift here. So let's see, I'll go back down too. Anyway, all right, so I appreciate y'all. Um, Ron, I'll say good night to you, sir. All right, man. Talk to you later. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Thanks for dropping by, and uh, we will be in touch. See ya.